up lunge from the blue corner. We are ready to roll with the second juvenile fight. Here we go. Round one. Other. Let's see what kind of display these two will dish out. And again, viewers, uh, we're showing you these bouts as part of the Ghana Professional Boxing League because we need to encourage companies, individuals out there to come to the aid of Ghana Boxing, especially amateur boxing. This is the beginning of good things to come when it comes to grooming of these young selected talents. The first set of boxers have showed us what it takes. They have gone through the mill and uh, William Plunge and Samuel Adolfo are also showing us again another level of amateur boxing. We obviously need to come and support these young ones, showing the kind of skill that we see even from professional boxers at this age. I still think that the future looks good. This is where we need to pay attention. I mean, if you if you look at what um, someone that you did in the Olympics, bringing us a medal, we need to pay attention. We need to get a lot more involvement from the government, from the corporate organizations. They need to come on board and support these young kids. Look, they are exhibiting professional foot, uh, uh, professional boxing here. They are showing that look. They can really go at each other. They can they can grow and become champions. And if, if you listen to them, they all want to be future champions. And they must go through them. We must help them. Now, where we need to get it right is the type of coaches that will groom these young kids. When you have good coaches, good gymnasiums, making sure they groom these uh, um, um, young kids, they will have some future uh, champions from these uh, young, talented kids. For me, everybody needs to come on board. I couldn't agree with you more, Jude, and especially talking about the trainers. If we want to have these good boxers produce the best of results and go to the very top, then we need to have trainers that are qualified to take them forward. And this is a bit more better than the first one we saw. I mean, with this one, you could see both uh, boxers moving very well. They know when to go for the jab. They know when to go for the body punches. So this has been really exciting to watch. And these young kids are really showing their boxing artistry. The ring craft has been super excellent. And we are loving it. I'm sure wherever you are watching this Ghana Boxing Professional League, you must be pretty excited. Yeah, we see, look at the jab. Just look at the movement. And just look at the counter punch from the young chap. Seconds in the white out. trunks and uh look seconds out this is what we're loving here Round two. so the young ones will go at it again and i can tell you the uh boxing fraternity who gathered here today are really amazed at the kind of skill it's still the talking point among many a fan here what we saw of the first two boxes. These boxes are definitely a catch them young kind of uh, scenario. And uh, like the two boxers mentioned their ages in the first bout, 13 and nine years old. They've started early. We're very glad that uh, the Honourable Minister himself was here, Minister for Youth and Sports. Mr. Maxwell Techi is here, Mr. Fadi Fatal is here. They've all seen the kind of quality we have at the amateur level. Of course, Honourable, former uh, Youth and Sports Minister is also uh, here as well. The amateur ranks need support. And at this tender age, they, they might not have the, the kind of punches that will get them onto the canvas but you then have to know when to punch when to move how to defend and how to make sure you grow from the level that you are in and, and it has been amazing looking at these young kids exhibit 
professional boxing at this highest level. Look, we saw what Samuel Techi did, and, and I'm looking at these kids probably doing better and doing more than what they did. We need to get ourselves involved with amateur boxing. We need to show that we can support them. We need to get the gymnasiums running and trying to bring out, you know, these young kids through the ranch, through the communities. And for me, we have abundant of young talented boxers who can become future world champions. And, and we can't just stay and look at them idle. It's the creator. If you know you're fine, show me your face. Get their body, show me some flex. Your breast you no know, be a TV. Show me your breast. Your nyash you no know, be a TV. Show me your nyash. Ghana Niger ladies, who get their nyash? Ghana Niger ladies, who get their nyash? Your nyash, your nyash. Baby, I say your nyash. Your nyash, your nyash. If I fall in daughter, I tend to make that. I give you my shirt. Second out. They tell you. Amateur ranks. Second out. It gives out. us a lot Dead to talk about when it comes round. to uh, local boxing. And don't forget, we will be enjoying Ghana Boxing Professional League every two weeks. So every fortnight, we will be here at the Bukum Boxing Arena to give you the best right from the um, gyms who are really going at each other here. And we you know we, we witnessing some wonderful boxing artistry right here from these young kids. They'll have a go at it again after taking a, a warning from the uh, referee. Our next bout would be a flurried contest over six rounds. A professional bout between Adam Habdin Salanon and Daniel Utu. Boxers should get ready. After this fight, we're going to have a flyweight contest over six rounds. Adam Abdin Salanon and Daniel Otu. So, Pri, this is just an uh, exhibition about um, looking at these young kids trying to show what the amateur level in terms of Ghana boxing looks like. And they're pretty sold to us some wonderful skills here. we're getting social media is rife on the kind of quality we have in terms of amateur and uh, even to the extent that some are thinking when are they going to be ready to represent Ghana well I can tell you for a fact that if we put our money where our mouth is we can get them ready for any interaction with any opponent from any part of the world just look at the combinations from these young kids. Look at the one, two, one, two, go to the body, then can, you know, pick a straight punch straight to the face. And it's, it's been simply amazing. So it's all come to an end. And of course, this has also cemented and buttressed the fact that the future looks good. Yeah. And I'm not really sure. The Honorable Minister, this time around, will be going Thank for you. Thank you very much. That was another juvenile fight. Two young boxes. And that is how they will go through the process. They will go through the meal and get up to the professional level. The likes of Aigba Zuko Kote, Nenea Kunedu, and all those former world champions, they've gone through similar process. Shall we put our hands together for the boxes, please? Very well. After the verdict, we are looking for, forward for the next professional bout. And this is a flowered contest over six rounds between Adams, Salanon, and Daniel Otu. We should get ready for that. Now we have the verdict. And ladies and gentlemen, the two young boxes have done a lot. But the verdict that we have, it has been declared as a draw. Shall we put hands together for them? Guys. Come on, come, come. How are you? I'm fine. And uh, your full name is? William Adolfo. So, do you, are you also in school? 
Yes, please. So you see, amazingly, the current uh, juvenile boxes in Ghana are all in school. Let's put our hands together for them. It, it's good. So where, where is the school? I'm a graduate. A graduate? Class 6 or JSS 1? JHS 3. JSS 3? Ha! Oh. How old are you? 12 years. 12 years. Now tell me, uh, why do you want to do boxing? Why do you want to do boxing? To become a professional boxer. Professional boxer like who? Mayweather, then other guys. Mayweather and other guys. That's good. Your name is? Samuel Planch. Samuel, where are you coming from? In Accra, which part of Accra? Where are you coming from? Jamestown. Jamestown. So where do you school? My school name is Prince Diary. Oh, I see. Which class? Class 5. Class 5. Hey. And then you are fighting against a J.H. graduates. That's good. Congratulations. Why do you want to do boxing? Because I want to be a world champion. Like who? Like Mayweather. Like Mayweather. Oh, good. They have one thing in common. Let's put our hands together for them. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. I know it's good that in Ghana Boxing today, the Ghana Boxing Authority and the Ghana Boxing Federation, the president is here, Mr. Corte, and the juvenile boxing... There is some chemistry that is linking the three departments together. Before they get to the professional level, this young guy should become graduates, engineers, doctors, and what have you. I think I'm really, really excited. So now let's get ready for the next bout of the evening. And this is a flowered contest over six rounds between Adams, yeah. Habdeen, and Salonon. And he's going to fight against Daniel Otu. And these are the two boxes, officials for this bout. We have David Mills, Judge 2, Erasmus O, and Judge 3, Confidence Yagbo. The man in the center of this fight is May Mensa Akako. Boxers again, Adam Habdin Salonen and Daniel Otu. Shall we please welcome the boxer, Adam Habdin Salonen. Give me hanky, and I'm on the t-shirts. 